Welcome back. This is part two of the Bear Crochet Baby Security Blanket tutorial. So after completing part one of the tutorial, you should have your blanket completely made and the head of your bear ready to go and all your yarn tails weaved in. So let's go ahead and get started and we'll go ahead and make an arm. All right, to make the arm, go ahead and make a magic circle with six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, and six. For row two, put two single crochet in each of the six stitches. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. For row three, we're going to do one single crochet in the first stitch and then two single crochets into the next stitch. So one in the first, and then two in the second. And we're just going to repeat this all the way around. One in the first. Two in the second, one in the first, two in the second, one in the first, two in the second, one in the first, two in the second, one and then two in this last stitch. One, two. So that completes row three, and you now have 18 stitches around. Row four is gonna be one row even. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen. And that's the end of row four. Row five is also one row even. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, 
and 18. And that's the end of row five. Row six is also one row even. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen. And that's the end of verse six. For row seven, we're going to do one single crochet in the first stitch, and then we're going to crochet two stitches together. So one in the first, and then crochet two together. And we're going to repeat this all the way around. So one in the first, and then two together. One in the first, and then two together. one in the first and then two together one in the first two together one in the first and then crochet your last two together and that's the end of row seven and you now have twelve stitches around Okay, so now just make sure that your hole is tight and stuff that yarn tail in the paw. And now we're just going to lightly stuff the paw. So just like that. Not too much in there, but it keeps the shape of the paw for you. Okay, so for the next seven rows, eight through 14, we're gonna be working one row even. So one single crochet in each of the 12 stitches around. So this is row eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So that's the end of row eight. And this is row nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And that's the end of row nine. This is for a ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And 12 and that's the end of row 10 this is row 11 1 2 3 4 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And that's the end of row 11. And this is row 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12, and that's the end of row 12. And this is row 13. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And that's the end of row thirteen. And this is row fourteen, which is our final row even. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So now that we're finished with the arm, we're going to single crochet it shut. So just go in through the top loops on both sides. We're going to single crochet it shut. Okay. So now go ahead and cut yourself a long yarn tail, which you can use to sew the arm onto the bear. And here is one of the arms done. So let's go ahead, set this aside, and we'll make the second arm now. Alright, to make the arm, go ahead and make a magic circle with six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, and six. For row two, put two single crochet in each of the six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, and twelve.
For row three, we're going to do one single crochet in the first stitch and then two single crochets into the next stitch. So one in the first, and then two in the second. And we're just going to repeat this all the way around. One in the first, two in the second, 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 one, and then two in this last stitch. One, two. So that completes row three, and you now have 18 stitches around. Row four is going to be one row even. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and 18. And that's the end of row 4. Row 5 is also one row even. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen. And that's the end of row five. Row six is also one row even. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. And that's the end of verse 6. For row 7, we're going to do one single crochet in the first stitch, and then we're going to crochet two stitches together. So one in the first and then crochet two together. And we're going to repeat this all the way around. So one in the first, and then two together. One in the first, and then two together. One in the first, and then two together. One in the first, two together, one in the first, and then crochet your last two together. And that's the end of row seven, and you now have 12 stitches around. Okay, so now just make sure that your hole is tight 
and stuff that yarn tail in the paw. And now we're just going to lightly stuff the paw. Just like that. Not too much in there, but it keeps the shape of the paw for you. Okay, so for the next seven rows, eight through 14, we're gonna be working one row even. So one single crochet in each of the 12 stitches around. So this is row eight. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So that's the end of row eight. And this is row nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And 12. And that's the end of row 9. This is row 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And that's the end of row ten. And this is row eleven. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And that's the end of row eleven. And this is row twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve, and that's the end of row twelve. And this is row 13. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And 12. And that's the end of row 13. And this is row 14, which is our final row even. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, 
and 12. So now that we're finished with the arm, we're going to single crochet it shut. So just go in through the top loops on both sides. We're going to single crochet it shut. Okay, so now go ahead and cut yourself a long yarn tail, which you can use to sew the arm onto the bear. And here is one of the arms done. So let's go ahead, set this aside. All right, so now we have both arms done. So let's go ahead and move on to the ears. So to start the ear, go ahead and make a magic circle with six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, and six and close up your circle for row two put two single crochet in each of the six stitches around one two three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. For row three, we're going to do one single crochet in the first stitch and then two single crochets in the next stitch. So one single crochet in the first stitch, two single crochets in the second stitch. And we're going to repeat this all the way around. So one in the first, two in the second, 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 one in the first, and then two in this last stitch. And that's the end of row three, and you now have 18 stitches around. Row four is one row even, so one single crochet in each of the 18 stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen. And that's the end of our four. 
Row 5 is also one row even. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. And that is the end of row 5. Row 6 is also one row even. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. And that's the end of row 6. Row 7 is one single crochet in the first stitch, and then we're going to crochet two together. So one in the first, and then crochet two together. And then we're going to repeat this all the way around. So one in the first, and then two together. One in the first, and then two together. One in the first, and then two together. One in the first, two together. One in the first, and then crochet your last two stitches together. That's the end of row seven. So go into the next stitch and just do a slip stitch and then cut yourself a long yarn tail so that you can sew this onto the bear later. And you can go ahead and set this aside. And now we'll go ahead and make the second ear. So to start the ear, go ahead and make a magic circle with six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, and six and close up your circle. For row two, put two single crochet in each of the six stitches around. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. For row three, we're going to do one single crochet in the first stitch and then two single crochets in the next stitch. So one single crochet in the first stitch, two single crochets in the second stitch. And we're going to repeat this all the way around. So one in the first, two in the second, one in the first, 
two in the second, one in the first, two in the second, one in the first, two in the second, one in the first, and then two in this last stitch. And that's the end of row three, and you now have 18 stitches around. Row four is one row even, so one single crochet in each of the 18 stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen. And that's the end of row four. Row five is also one row even. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. And that is the end of row 5. Row 6 is also one row even. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, and 18. And that's the end of row 6. Row 7 is one single crochet in the first stitch, and then we're going to crochet two together. So one in the first, and then crochet two together. And then we're going to repeat this all the way around. So one in the first, and then two together one in the first and then two together one in the first and then two together one in the first two together one in the first and then crochet your last two stitches together that's the end of row seven so go into the next stitch and just do a slip stitch and then cut yourself a long yarn tail so that you can sew this onto the bear later. And you can go ahead and set this aside. Okay, let's go ahead and make the snout of the bear now. So take your yarn and make a magic circle with six stitches. So one, two, 
three, four, five, and six. For row two, we're going to put two single crochet in each of the six stitches around. That's the end of row two. For row three, we're going to do one single crochet in the first three stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch. So we have one single crochet in the first three stitches. One, two, three, and then two single crochet into this next stitch. One, two. And then we're just going to repeat that all the way around. One, two, three, and then two single crochet in the next stitch. One, two. One in the first three. One, two, three, and then two single crochets into your last stitch. One, two. And that's the end of row three and you should now have 15 stitches around. So for row four, we're going to do one row even, so just one single crochet in each of the 15 stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. And that's the end of row four. Row five is also one row even. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. And that is the end of row five, and that is it for the snout. So just go ahead into your next stitch and do a slip stitch, and then cut yourself a long enough yarn tail to sew this snout onto the bear later. Okay, so now we'll move on and we'll put the nose on the bear. So to put the nose 
on the snout of the bear, get yourself black crochet thread and your smaller yarn needle and double it up onto the yarn needle. When you look at your snout, it should kind of have a little bit of a triangle look to it. You can see. Also, it's important to note that this will be up a little bit. It won't be directly down here when you're looking at your snout. So when you're ready to start, go ahead and take your yarn needle directly through the center of the snout. Pull it through, but not all the way through, and go ahead and just hold on to the yarn tail here. So if you count this space under here is one, two, three. We're going to be going into this third space. So again, this is space one, space two, space three. Also make sure you keep this off to the side because that's how we'll be attaching it to the bear. So then after you go through, come back through the bottom and out the center circle again. And continue doing this making sure not to pull too tight So, say this is one, two, three, four, come up through the fourth hole, and go down into the third, and come up into the second hole, down into the third, and then come up through the first hole and go down through the second hole. So now we're going to continue to just fill in the nostril. So come through the center and just pop your way down into that fourth hole, up through the center And then just push your way through the stitch under this little stitch here. There's no hole there, you'll just have to push through the yarn.
same here when you get these gaps there's no stitch you'll just have to push through the yarn Okay, so once you have your first pass done, just tidy it up. You'll see like little spots where you might have a gap. Okay, so I did, I just paused the video, I did several more passes over and over again, and then to finish it off, I did a couple more just coming through like the top holes, like hole four into hole three, three into two, and I finally got the nose shaped how I want it. So you can pause your video and finish your nose, but when you finish it, we're going to go through the center stitch again. And then skip down two rows. And I'm just going to double this up, so I'm going to go through the center again. And down through that same stitch. And there is the snout for our little bear. So once you get it all complete and you're satisfied with it, just lightly tie these ends together and then you can cut these And then you have your snout. So let's go ahead and assemble our bear. So the first thing that you're going to attach is the snout. So this is the time to decide whether you want your blanket 
to have the, fair, the bear facing this way or if you'd rather have it sideways. So after you decide whether you want to attach it like this or sideways, the snout is going to go, you're going to start attaching it between rows 10 and 11. Also you'll need a little bit of stuffing to put inside the snout. So you can start at the top and count down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So the space here between 10 and 11 is where I'm going to want to, where you're going to want to attach the snout. I got a little bit too much stuffing in there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, so I like to pin the parts in place so they stay, and then you can get a better look at where it is before you attach it. Okay, so once you have it attached where it's supposed to be, just give it a quick look over and make sure that it's even wherever you have it. And once you're satisfied, we can go ahead and start attaching it. So I'm going to go down into the next stitch and into the head of the bear and just pop out any random stitch and then go back into the same stitch of the head of the bear and come up to the next stitch of the snout and pop out and then down into the next stitch of the snout out the side of the head And then we're just going to repeat this, going back in. You can take out pins as you go.
Okay, so just check and make sure that your snout's attached and is nice and secure. You can do, if you want to be extra secure, you can just do another loop. If not, you can just do the spots that don't look as tight to you. Okay, so once your snout's secured and you're satisfied, just take your yarn tail underneath the snout. And we're going to knot off on any of these bottom stitches here. And then just take the yarn tail back into the bear. And then just take it to through a couple different spaces of the head and then work it down through the bottom. And you can cut it free. And then there's your snout. Okay, so next let's go ahead and attach the ears. Okay, so the ears are going to go in between rows 4 and 5. So if you start at the top, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, you're going to want it to go in between row 4 and 5. One, two, three, four. Okay, so that's just a rough placement of mine. I'm going to look at them closely here in a second, but attach both your ears starting between rows four and five and just kind of check them out, make sure you're happy with their placement, and then we'll go ahead and start to sew them in place. Okay, so I got my ears where I'm satisfied. If you can tell, I kind of bend them a little bit so that they are folded in. Okay, so once you have your ears placed where you'd like them, we're gonna attach the ears the same way we did with the snout. So just go into the bear, out any random hole, back in that hole, back to the ear to attach. Taking out pins as you go, going down into the next stitch. and away. And we're just repeating this all the way around the ear.
All right, back down to the beginning of the ear. So I've got one ear attached. Just kind of give it a look over. Make sure you're satisfied. If there's any spots that aren't tight enough, you have to go back over them. Let's go ahead and do that now. And then when you're satisfied, just go to any random stitch on the back of the ear. And knot off. And go back into the head and pop out the back and leave that yarn tail right there for now. You can shorten it a little bit. Okay, so after you attach the first ear, you're going to have to double check your second ear and make sure it stayed where you want it. You might have to move it around. Okay. But when you're satisfied, just go ahead and attach your second ear the same way we just did with the first ear. Okay, so then just check around your ear, make sure you're satisfied with how it's attached. And then if you are, go ahead and just knot off on any random back stitch of the ear. And then go back into the head of the bear and pop out with your other yarn tail from your other ear. And then just cut the yarn tail to match the other one. And knot this off. And take these yarn tails down and out through the bottom of the head. And 
So now we have our ears attached. Let's go ahead and attach our arms. Okay, so with the arms, I actually find it easier to freehand them instead of pinning them in place. We'll just have to do one arm at a time. But I try to make it so that it stays parallel with the blanket. So just kind of move your arms around until you find a good spot. Start with this arm here. And we're going to be working, you can see right here where the blanket's attached to the head, we're going to work in this row right above it. So not here, right here. So you just kind of have to place your arm where you want it and see where it touches in the back. It's about right there and just pop out in a random spot in the front and then you'll just have to try to even it out. It's kind of just trial and error with this so be patient. So once you have the arm placed where you want it, I went in and I popped out here and I popped through the top stitch of the arm. So I'm going to go back through that same hole I came out and pop out the next hole. And then I'm just going to go under the next stitch of the arm. and then back in and under into the next stitch. And then under the next stitch of the arm, back in the hole and out the next stitch, under the next stitch of the arm, into the bear and out the next stitch. Back through the arm in and out the next stitch back in through the arm okay so I suggest just leaving the arm like this for now just in case you have to take it off don't knot it off yet or anything and then you're gonna take your other arm do the exact same thing. You're going to try to line it up, make it even with the other arm. like I said, this will be trial, trial and error, so just be patient with it.
we're attaching it the same exact way we attached the first arm. Okay, so once you have your arms attached, go ahead and look them over. And if you're satisfied with where they're at, go ahead and knot off on a back stitch of the arm. And go to the back of the head. And do that with both sides. And just like we did with the ears, we're going to tie these two strands together. And then take them out through the bottom of the head. Okay, so here's our bear so far. Final thing we need to do is give our little bear some eyes. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so for the eyes, you're going to get your black crochet thread again and a smaller crochet yarn needle. And your eyes may look better in a different spot than I'm putting my eyes. So just whatever looks best on your bear. But go in through the cheek. And I'm going to come out really really close to the snout and then just up one stitch and I'm popping right back out the same hole I came through so I just did that once I'm going to go over now, parallel, try to line this up on the other side to make the eyes even. And if you're satisfied with where you placed your eyes, just go ahead and keep going over and over again until you're satisfied with the thickness of the eye. So that eye, I did it three times, and I like it. So I'm going to go back over to the first eye and make it match up. A little bit of stuffing there. Uh, I think that's good. I'll do it one more time and see what that looks like. So you can just play around with both your eyes. So 
until you're satisfied with them. And when you're satisfied, go ahead and just take the crochet thread through where you very first came in. So, right here. And then go ahead and tie these together. And just like we have been, just go through the same hole and take these out through the bottom of the bear. And then just shape your bear back into shape. And now you have a cute bear baby security blanket. So, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you like how your bear turns out. Um, please check out my other videos. Hit the like button. Subscribe to my channel. So, thank you for watching.